Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a shoutcast and a game here on Metalopolis between OGS's Supernova versus Rox's Slavico here on Metalopolis. Nova's or Supernova spawning as the Red Terran player. Meanwhile, Slavico spawning as the Teal Zerg at the 3 o'clock position. This will be close by air spawns and we'll see how this game does get underway and what exactly happens in this series. Now this was taken from IEM in the later rounds as well and based on time I'm hoping to cast the rest of these games as well but then again you may have better things to do on Valentine's Day than listen to the sound of my voice. So we'll see what's going to happen here. Nova opening up with the Supply Depot. If you do have a special someone out there make sure to let them know how you feel. If you wish you had a special someone don't worry, I was there for quite a while. Anyways, let's take a look. Slavico does move out with an Overlord and does spot the uh, command center. And he decides to park it just outside of sight range. Supernova is not going to be able to spot this. What is Slavico doing now? Deciding to come back around the far side. We are going to see an SCV now come around down over here. Build a barracks. And with a barracks, it will rally and try to hold the ramp. Meanwhile, we'll take a look at what Slavico is doing. He hasn't really opened up or revealed his hand just quite yet. No spawning pool, no hatchery. It looks like it will be a hatchery first now. A 15 hatch here on Metalopolis. Overlord will simply be flying around the edge of the map, perhaps parking itself right in this location. Should be able to keep track of the natural expansion as well as the main base and at least see any drone or sorry SCV saturation. A supernova does go for I believe the standard 13 gas as opposed to the new 15 gas that some Terran players are experimenting with. Supernova will be able to move out. He is going to be adding on a tech lab. So it may be a straight up Reaper expansion as opposed to any other sort of expansion. The Reaper expansion does benefit from being able to save up a little bit. Oh, what is this? A second refinery now coming into play. So I'm not sure what Supernova will be going. We'll have to keep tabs on that strategy. He's going very heavy gas. And I haven't seen a Terran player going for double gas before. Um, factory in quite some time. The Reaper now making its w or making its way out. It is about halfway completed. SCV now setting up a bunker, and it is in within plain sight of this Overlord. The Reaper will be able to jump across here in just a moment. Drones now trying to make their way in. Will the SCV be able to perhaps hide back over here? The drones now coming over. And I like this play by Slavico. Slavico knows that even by delaying those drones, he did deal some economic damage. A new bunker could be established off over here, or he could once again be trying to build a bunker. We'll see what's going to happen. And it looks like it will be a bunker right here. Where is it going to go? No, it is going to go after here. The SCV... I'm getting in a, one of a bit of a shot there, trying to benefit on the attack as drones now making their way over. The Reaper needs to run away, jump back up onto the high ground, getting in another shot, and now pulling away. So it is just a straight Reaper, so it is going to be double Reapers into a factory. So Reaper Reaper harassment into um, into a factory, and it may end up going into Banshees, which be a, which would be a very interesting play as you normally wouldn't have enough gas. Reapers are now wandering around. There is one SCV. The reason why that SCV is in that fight is similar to why probes were fighting with Zealots back in Brood War and even earlier as now we see the Reapers now just trying to jump up and down cliffs. We'll see what's going to happen here as the Reapers have to be very, very careful. The Reapers do not regenerate hit points. This is not part of the swarm as we now see the reapers simply dancing around the field we see hellions now joining in on the fight and we're going to see a swap here hellions now being added and we should be able to get into cloak banshees in just a moment but will this early pressure um be effective almost cheese like as the reapers now going after the queen the reapers could try to da charge the creep tumor getting some damage onto the queen and now oh could have gotten the creep tumor it looks like it will get taken down so nicely done by supernova making sure to deny creep tumors and creep spread creating this no no queen land here in between these bases now the hellion has joined in on the fight a second hellion now going to come in as well the spine crawler is in position but this is going to look very very bad as the hellions now trying to push their way in some damage is dealt queens reapers and and hellions just battling it out here as the scv has tanked a lot of damage so far Queen's still battling out. Zerbi's now trying to make their way over. Is it going to be enough as a nice line of fire there? And somehow Supernova able to keep all of these units alive. 
well, was able to keep all those units alive as a Reaper finally uh, does get taken out. Now Slavico has to be very careful, may end up losing a queen, and oh yes, does lose a queen to a Hellion, something that you don't see every day, a queen getting burnt to a crisp. As we now see the spine crawler has moved over into the mineral patch itself. The Hellion's able to get a little bit of torch damage though, the Reaper trying to come back in as the Hellions are still backing off, and now in comes a Banshee. The Banshee has to be careful though, the Banshee cannot go up against a queen that easily perhaps it will be able to survive oh yes a transfusion does come in just in time we are now going into spore crawler so slavico one step ahead perhaps expecting cloaked banshees now comes in um, with the spore crawler the spore crawler will complete in just a second that banshee does need to back away and does exactly that with five hit points remaining 13 workers killed, uh, but Slavico still has a huge, huge economic lead. 53 drones compared to 30 at SCVs, and wow, SCVs now coming over to repair the Banshees as we are now going into Siege Tanks. Siege Tanks being added here, no Siege Tech just quite yet. Um, the reasoning behind this is you cannot, you really don't have any additional gas. When trying to train Banshees and Siege Tanks, you, uh, you simply don't have enough gas for that. You have about enough gas off of one base to train one Siege Tank and one Banshee a minute. as And therefore, no additional gas for, say, any... Um, any uh, any siege tech banshee quickly coming in gonna get some easy kills on some drones until units do make their way over and now the queen is gonna make its way over once more another drone does get taken out the kills up to four here but really not that much this banshee now perhaps looking to deal more damage but slavico in very good shape handling this pressure and doing a great job. Siege tech finally being added. SCVs now making their way down as it looks like Supernova may be transitioning into that much more reliable play. 52 SCVs or drones versus 34 SCVs as we now take a look at the minimap and the units pretty much uh, are there still two banshees in play yes still two banshees the banshees decided to pair off together in order to deal a bit more damage perhaps going to take down a creep tumor yes able to snipe down one but there are going to be two queens here two queens pushing against one of those um, two banshees against one of those queens as there are now roaches the overseer is now out as the siege tanks may siege up and this timing is going to be very difficult as the overlords may not be able to come in just in time siege tanks are now in position and and this is huge. The what the Banshees are going to be able to attack and provide um, provide air support against this ground army here. Siege tanks um, will destroy any queens that try to push their way in. As Supernova following up this following up this attack, and this is really the Korean style of very early aggression, dealing a lot of damage. Zerglings now trying to run in, and now they are suffering for it as well as Marines. Jumping inside the bunker. Creep tumors are now being destroyed as the Banshees now without energy going after the evolution chambers trying to make sure that um, the, the armor upgrades do not complete and that is huge. A spore crawler now trying to be completed. There is a transfusion. A transfusion or two. Is it going to be enough? The evolution chamber down to 100 hit points. One Banshee does get taken out but the evolution chamber does go down and that is ver a very heavy loss once more as all of that research and that mining time was cancelled. So 0-0 zero, zero units coming in from Slavico. He still has a harvester advantage and, um, and is currently uh, having a larger army, but he is currently being sieged. The Banelings Nest now taking a lot of damage. It looks like it will fall and there are only two or there are some banelings in production with already um what 14 banelings in play the banelings nest now down as another overseer being added the queen's now trying to make their way in again roaches are going to try to push their way in off over here zergling's going to push in and is this going to be enough to stop this attack the siege tank the marines the banelings all finding their targets against the other units there as the banshees are now trying to clean up the roaches is it enough only one siege tank left Slavico pushing this attack. It is now becoming very even. Who is going to come out ahead? The siege tank still blasting away. Another queen does get taken out as there are a lot of low hit point units, but both sides suffering heavy, heavy losses as a medevac now joins in on the fight. 
New hatchery off over here for Slavico. Banshees now making their way over to the third base. We'll see if what's going to happen as Supernova decides to pull back. 47 versus 50. The um, hatchery off over here will get canceled most likely as a queen may not be able to make its way over. Zerglings and Roach is looking to do a bit of a push. Supernova needs to siege and it looks like he will siege just in time. Supernova may keep a siege tank up on the high ground. No, not going to keep it there. And this is going to be very, very bad news for Supernova. Marines accidentally getting picked up. Zergling is going to swarm in on the target. Roach is now making their way in as Slavico mounting a counterattack of his own, but too many siege tanks as the Roaches are now running away once more. The Banshees are going to perhaps try to take over or take out some of these roaches in transit. Is it going to happen? No. The roaches will be able to pass by four banshees in the air. Very, very heavy banshee play as a medevac now looking to do a drop. There is one spine crawler off over here. Supernova now looking to put pressure on this front door. Roach is now trying to push in as well. Infestation pit could get sniped down. Yes, going to take a bit of damage. No queens nearby. It looks like the infestation pit may get canceled or destroyed. There's the overseer now making its way over, uh, trying to take down that lower hit point banshee, but the banshee able to cloak in time. Third command center now being built by Supernova. Slavico re-establishing his third base. The Banshees need to go back and repair themselves or get repaired as we now see Supernova once again coming out with another push. Slavico has had a stronger economy but hasn't been able to really utilize his higher drone count on a third base. He does have a macro hatch here which is the reason why he isn't currently harvest or larva locked at this point in the game as the siege tanks are now about to siege again taking down one quick creep tumor but this is very dangerous for Supernova. He does have sight up onto the high ground but roaches could easily swarm in here. In comes a cloak again. The Banshees and being forced to pull away as the Marines are now going to drop up on the high ground. Stim, no combat shield as we'll see what, how much damage these guys can do. Marines now simply making their way in, trying to deal damage, trying to sh destroy this hatchery off over here. Banshee's looking to put pressure in. Oh, this is going to be very bad as the Queens may be able to snipe down. Yes, and shoot down one Banshee there. Marines try still trying to deal even more damage as the Marines are going after a Spore Crawler. So the Banshee's now going after a hatchery off over here. Is it going to be enough? Slavico it has transferred drones. As this game continues, Infestation Pit does complete. Infestors do get a nice fungal growth off as the Banshee is still owning the skies and really harassing like they were mutilous and just very slow moving ones. Infestation Pit gonna get destroyed. We'll see what's gonna happen here next as the Infestor now tries to make its way out. Another fungal growth hitting off a couple of Marines and even a Marauder there as Roach is getting caught in transit once more. But the Zerglings are swarming up the front door. Roach is going after the Siege Tanks. Slavico mounting a strong counterattack, but the Siege Tank line may be too deep. We'll see as the Banshees and Medivacs are arriving to the party and Slavico now w behind in terms of food. More transfusions coming in. More transfusions coming in trying to save the Queens, but Queens are going to be falling. The Queens not that effective against all of these Siege Tanks. And it looks like Supernova should be able to handle this here as the Queens, even though they're not technically part of the army, is the main part of the defense. Drones finally being called over. Is it going to be enough? The Marines now stimming their way in. Are they going to be able to finish off multiple drones? The drones are upgraded. 1-1, one, one, an Infester now coming in. There's a Fungal Growth. Infested Terran's being added as well. The Infested Terran um, may try to shoot down that Banshee. No, the Siege Tank just outside of Siege Mode, finishing off unit after unit as Slavico is now finally behind in terms of the Harvester count. Overlords making their way in. One Spore Crawler will get destroyed here. More Roaches trying to make their way down the ramp. Unable to do so. The Siege Tanks offering too much cover fire. Slavico has expanded twice beyond this. So he does have a fourth base. But he's not mining anything at this natural expansion. No queens being trained off over here. One queen being trained here. As now we see more and more broodlings come out. And... Slavico says GG, OGS Supernova taking game one in the series. Wow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.